So I was working with Alan Sharp and I learned some things with Rock Pile Solutions that maybe a lot of you know, but if not, I've got to showcase this and show it because it's awesome. I'm going to try to do this basically from scratch, see how fast I can do it uh, so that you can, you can do this even if you don't have everything set up. So let's create some stakeout points for this edge of pavement line on this job. So we're going to go to point creator. Uh, we'll just make a new style. Just call it EP stake. Now I'm going to turn off. I'm going to leave end point on. I'm going to turn the rest off. So I do have to go through and turn off most of these. Let's keep radius points. Incorporate the radius value. I uh, don't need anything spiral. Uh, interval will come back to. Go over to vertical. I'm going to turn all these off because I don't. I don't want them for what I'm trying to do here. All right. So we've got endpoint, uh, radius point under arc, nothing under spiral. And now interval is where we want to. This is where I'm gonna I'm gonna show some stuff. So uh, include segment endpoints. You want that uh, straight intervals. Uh, I want to do number of intervals, and I'm gonna set this to one. I'm gonna check combined segments. I'm going to do minimum length of 50, maximum length of 50. Uh, just because I, the way that I'm staking, the way that I'm going to create the points on this one, I don't really care if it's less than 50, or I'm going to do 25 and 25. Uh, if it's less than 25 feet, I don't care that there, there needs to be an extra interval. So I'm just going to leave that at, at that. Uh, curve interval, I'm going to do number of intervals, and I'm just going to do one so that it stakes. Actually, I'll turn curve interval off. I'll go back to the line, uh, or arc, I mean. I'm going to do PC and PT. So that's real fast. Those are the settings I'm picking. You'll see the end result. You can copy these settings if you want. So hit OK. Uh, so this is the EP stake. So I'm going to click the line that I want. I'm just going to put them to later zero for this example. I'm going to hit apply. So just like that, we've got a radius point, we've got a PT, PC, uh, and then we've got these IP, which are interval points. So let me show you how awesome these interval points are. If I take a ruler from point to point, 22.5 feet, point to point, 22.5. So it's using that 25 foot minimum and it's equally spacing these points, 22.5, along that straight segment. So when you go lay it out, this guarantees that there's at least 25 foot spacing on this job. Radius point, same thing with these interval points. So I just created all those points immediately. One, one command. Now, here's the next thing. So while well, that's nice, but the problem is we, we really want to give them a three foot offset. We want them to be... Uh, you know, correctly three foot offset so that they can stake them back there. Jump over to slope designer, which can be very intimidating at first, but I'm going to show an example from scratch. I don't have anything saved. Uh, I'm just going to save this as EP stake. So create a line. We don't want a line. So we, we want to create points out of this to stake EP point ID. Let's just start at 6,000. Layer zero as well. Uh, so computation mode, we're going to do offset elevation. Elevation type, definitely not absolute. We're dealing with EP on a varying elevation job, every, every job basically that has an EP. But let's do delta elevation. I'll explain how I'll do that in a second. Uh, internal corner method, uh, I'm going to do intersection. Uh, external, I'm going to do chamfer. And I'm still learning all these different ones, but... This one, these should work fine for what we're doing. Now, location style, where are these points going to be? Let's pick our EP stake, which is basically the point creator style that we just made. So this is the point creator settings. So that's where it's going to get its point information from. Uh, how far of an offset? I don't know. Let's just do a five-foot offset. Now, what's our delta elevation? I'm going to do 0.5 here because I want it to be six inches higher than the edge of pavement because the top back of curb is actually six inches. Uh, actually, if we're going to do this as top back of curb, let's offset at 5.5 feet. Uh, I don't like working off top back of curb line work. Uh, I like working off EP line work because that's the line work that I use to get uh, 
to get all the water to drain. And then we offset our, our, our top back of curb off of that. Once in a while, we add an extra point on the edge of pavement. We may miss it to the, for the top back of curb, meaning that it's not quite parallel at whatever, say six inches high. So, uh, I, I'm just going to say let's offset this 5.5 feet, which is going to end up resulting in a five foot offset to top back of curb, uh, elevation 0.5. So it's going to bring it up six inches, which is the, the edge of pavement to the top back of curb. Now I'm going to pick a reference line. Of course, rock pile solutions automatically has the arrow directions there. So I know that I'm going to the right, uh, station mode. I'm just going to do all. I'm going to save that style and I'm going to hit apply. So what did that just do? I'm going to close out of here. So that just created us points. These are the chamfer points. So 5.5 feet, 5.5 feet. And I can turn on my top back of curve. So my top back of curve. I grab something else there or no, it's, it's not offset correctly, uh, because of the, uh, right. So it's creating it to the edge of pavement. So that actually would be a little bit off, but shouldn't be a big deal for most, most jobs. It's kind of, you know, if that, that'll get figured out. Um, but like these points right here, there's five feet to the top back of curb parallel from that point. So we've got a point at the edge of pavement. We've got a point at the top back of curb or at the, at the corner. I mean, this is amazing that quickly, evenly spaced out. They can go stake these lines. Of course, they've got elevations that are six inches higher. Uh, so you can see that that, is the same elevation as the top back curb. Uh, this is just awesome. This is awesome stuff. Uh, for anyone that's still staking with points, I mean, how quickly did I just create that? Uh, and I guess for fun, I could just real quickly go and do it. Uh, just do it with the next one. Reference lines. This one's going to be to the left. Just hit apply. And there it is. Now I can go over to point creator and I can, it's nice to be able to see both of them. should be five and a half feet. Yep. I mean, right there. You know, that one I might, I might need to make a separate style uh, that just will label some of these curves because uh, that's pretty, uh, that's a pretty big curve, but You know, 49 foot radius. This job's actually pretty small. 49 foot radius is not a big deal at all to pull a tape measure on. Uh, and of course, there's all kinds of other other commands and, and stuff in there. Uh, but this is amazing. There you go. Five foot offset to your top back of curb. All, all elevated, ready to go. That that simple. Rock Pile Solutions is doing some amazing stuff. Uh, that's why I wanted to make this video quick to support them. When I realized how easy some of the things are that they made, uh, this is huge. You could also do if you wanted a five and an eight foot offset or four and an eight foot offset. You could do a four and an eight in right in uh, Slope Designer real quickly. Uh, it's just there's some amazing stuff. I'm really really glad they've they've taken the time to come up with all this to to help us out. So visit their uh, their page. I'm not getting paid to do this. I'm just doing this out of charity, which is in repayment for the charity that they have done for me in terms of answering questions, especially Alan Sharp. Uh, amazing stuff. Go to uh, RockPileSolutions.com and uh, purchase their stuff.